and life engineering, just like electrical engineering, you know, okay. electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, etc. Those kinds of things. We're life engineers. Okay. But and we don't need to change any whatsoever. In fact, actually, they actually help me rebuild my faith in the Mormon LDS Church. Oh, you say Mormon? Yes. Really? Yes, I am. I'm LDS. Oh, you're LDS? Yes, so Latter-day Saint. So you believe as LDS, of course, the Bible is God's Word. Okay, and then we're yeah. Of course, okay. So, my... I think it's very, you know, there's so many different interpretations and things out there, you know, it can be really confusing. Oh, yeah, it can be confusing. <laughs> That's why, you know, I think it's important to stick with that, what God says. Yeah. And so, what, so what do you do, though? Is that Joseph, you know Joseph Smith, yeah, and LDS leaders, right? They taught, you know, we all want to know who God is, right? Very important to know who God is. Well, and I will taught, know the fullness of it when I get there. Well, God, well, God's, God's, tell them. God's words revealed to us, right? We can know, right? And so Joseph and a lot of LDS said that there are many gods. We can become a god one day, in fact. And the Bible says in Isaiah 44, 6, there's only one God. There's none besides Him. Only one true God. Right. So that's, you know, that's when we need to put our faith in what God's Word says rather right. than what a man says. Right. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. Um, also, one thing that Scientology brings up mm -hmm. is, is that all natural law was created by God. Okay. Like laws, like laws of nature or what? Yes. Oh, yeah. All yeah. of them. And knowing and understanding those. Uh huh. Is it Yeah, I'll, I'll drink this. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, what, like, they're often overlooked. What happens in Scientology, though? Because you said all faiths come together. I mean, whatever faith you want to be Scientologist. Well, they can't. Yeah. Right. So, we have no denomination whatsoever. Okay. But then what, what happens, though, if, you know, you have a Muslim, a Christian, a Jew, a Hindu, and their beliefs all, they conflict, they all contradict. You see right. what I'm saying? So we can't yeah. say, right. we're all right, there has, to be only a tr there has to be a truth, you know what I'm saying? Right. It can't be like, oh yeah, you're right and you're right, even though you guys believe different things. Yeah. So you guys believe like all paths lead to God kind of thing, or? Well, what we do is, is we put our differences aside yeah. and we concentrate on what we agree on. Okay. So we agree, I think this is what we agree on. Right. All paths will lead to God, eventually. 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 Absolutely. I agree with that. This Absolutely. Is, now this is where we disagree. Mm -hmm. That only through Jesus right. will God be your savior and friend. Right. Through all well, the other paths, hey, God will be your judge. And Jesus I don't want that for you. Open the doors for us. It's up to us to he walk is the in. Door. He's the door, man. Right. So, and but now uh -huh. he's left it up to us to walk in. Well, have you walked through Jesus as the only door? <laughs> Just like that's, you know, that's the whole life and death question, man. I'm more concerned about Jesus' end game. End game? Yeah. See, you know, it's like he's teaching this, you know, it's like a lot of people, they'll, they'll go and they pick this and he said this and this one thing or this one thing. Well, what about if you put it together as a collective whole? Mm -hmm. What is this saying? What is the message when you put it all collectively? Okay. You know, he prepared the way for us. He opened the door for us. Now it's our turn to walk in. But have you walked in Jesus as the door? No. I'm on my way there. Okay. But but if you it's not, a path. It's but if a you journey did not, if you me. die tonight though, right? Be I'll be there. No, but you, if you haven't walked through Jesus, you'll be separated. Yeah, I I know I will be there. But how how do you know that though? You can have that. I want you to have insurance. Yes. But you can't just it's, say. For me, it uh -huh. isn't. I believe. Okay. I know there's a difference. But how do you know? That's the thing. There are some things, words, mm -hmm. physical words, sorry, you just can't describe. <laughs> well, All I can say word-wise is that I know. If I was to die tonight, I am extremely confident. So it's kind of your feelings, in other words. Your feelings tell you, I know. Right. But the See, faith is, is, is fluffy. You know, it's, it's, for me, faith is like fluffy. Knowledge is real, solid, real. It is. Period. Yeah. End of story. And I, I, I know. I want you to have, right. but our feelings can be wrong. Yes, my feeling, they can. Right. So my feelings don't say, oh, this is right, this is wrong. 
my knowledge comes from what God's word says. And God's word says that Jesus said, he who believes in me, though he dies, yet shall he live. Absolutely. But if you haven't believed in Jesus, then you can't live, my friend. And I want that for you. Well, as you say, we are eternal beings. However, right. do you want to be with him? Or do you not? Well, that, that's my question for you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. if, you're, if you're not with him, you have to believe in Jesus to be with him. Right, and I do. But, I haven't said I don't. But you said, but you, I feel like you're kind of the middle ground. You're saying I don't, I haven't left Jesus out, but I'm not really all the way committed. He's saying, well, for me to truly yeah. know the fullness, uh huh. I won't know the true fullness mm -hmm. until I'm there. But you, Jesus says you can know now. I want you to know now because the moment you step into eternity, it's too late. Right now, in in, in time, on this planet, in right. This earth, there it's is only know. here and now. And this is how, when you got to know we're going to spend eternity. Yep. Is we're all going to be judged. And I'm there. In eternity, not yet. We got to die first, and then we spend eternity. What? I think it's important that what these things, I'm not bashing you, but what Dianetics says and what L. Ron Hubbard says, that's not from God. We have, what? What? Well, whatever, what? What's not from God? Whatever Scientology is, is man. Um, we don't go no, to man as a source. We go to that's God. That's incorrect information. How do you know Scientology is from God? Um, no. Scientology uh -huh. utilizes mm -hmm. and understands and studies God's law. Okay. That's it. Where does God's law come from? Because God's law is in the Bible. Right. Right. Uh huh. So that's where. Yeah. We get our, so but God also created. Gravity. Yeah. He created all the laws of physics. Mm -hmm. And God created also the natural laws like okay. knowledge, responsibility, and control. They were busy. The laws of affinity, reality, mm -hmm. communication. Those are natural laws yeah. that God created. Yeah. Knowing and understanding those laws. Mm -hmm. And that's all we do. Okay, but what about God's have you broken, like me, God's mm -hmm. moral law? Don't God. lie. Don't steal. Yeah. Yeah. So we. I did. Yeah. Same with and God. Then too. So God and I had a chat about it. Well, I mean, Jesus okay. and I okay. forgave me. He forgave But you? I'm also okay. learning to forgive myself I'm as glad. well. A lot of people don't like to do that. How did you receive oh, forgiveness from Jesus? Why? What? How did you receive forgiveness? I prayed for him. What did you say to him? That was between me and him. Okay. Well, I don't. You know, I don't. I'm not trying to be rude, right. but right. Jesus said it comes through that repentance. Yeah. Mark 1:15. You have to turn from your sins and believe solely in Jesus, yep. as he, as the, as God and as the Lord. Right. We can't just say, oh, I'll pick a little bit from this and this, and Scientology says this. I'm committed no. completely. But you have to commit completely to Jesus to receive salvation. Right. You see where I'm coming from? Right. You cannot. You can't commit to an organization or what Joseph said, or whoever, commit solely to Jesus. Otherwise, you can't be saved. And I want you to be saved. You see where I'm coming from? I think I know what you're saying. I, I guess, say, I, uh, I don't have the words That's right. to really explain That's okay. to you my side of the thing. Okay. Remember yeah. God? God? They're not in the... the yeah, the... There are some things that words, sorry, just won't suffice. And they, I know it's in the Bible because I did go to seminary. Did. <laughs> yeah. So I did spend some time studying the Bible in seminary. Okay. But yeah, well, there that. are many things that God has said, you know, that, uh, sorry, there are no physical words to express. Okay. Well, thank you. For understanding and fullness. Thank you for talking to me. And remember that God, God loves you. Yeah. He cares for you. But we yeah. have to come to God solely through Jesus Christ who is fully God fully man right. solely through him the right. one true God they were united one well one God and three persons right right, right. But, but we can't we can't united go, in spirit they were we can't we can't go through an organization Jesus says come to me right he doesn't say come go through some man and then come to me he says go, go straight to Jesus if you don't go straight to Jesus <laughs> then you can't have salvation right. okay so it's very important you really consider this Okay. All right. Do you have a Bible? Right. Yes, I do. Do you read it? Ever? On occasion. Okay. Can you? Would you when I? Yeah. Could you please read the Gospel of John? 
Can you please do that? Gospel of John. Yeah. Now, which testament? New. New testament. New testament. Okay, good. New testament. Good. Yeah. Good. Very good book. Uh, yeah, there's a few guys running around trying to start fights out of the Old Testament, which kind of is really disheartening. Yeah, we don't want to start fights. Yeah, Jesus wanted us to come together, not start fights. Well, he, he wants us to come together in him. As right. him as the source. Right. But otherwise, right. he says, if you're not for me, you're against me. You know what I'm saying? We got to be for yep. Jesus, committed to him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there is a few guys running around starting fights. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Sad. Can I, can that's I, not right. Can I pray for you? Is that right?